Hello everyone, I am Nirupama Chirmade. I am going to conduct a workshop on one stroke painting and I am going to show you that what we are going to learn today. These are the rose birds which we are going to learn today. Uh, I am Nirupama. I learned this art almost 20 years before when I was in USA and uh, I learn many kind of arts. Basically, I am a doctor, but right now I am not practicing. When I went to USA, I left my medicine behind and I follow my hobby, drawing, painting, and I did many courses when I was there. I learned one stroke painting at the same time. So what I will do, I will turn my camera and show you my table and while working I will talk to you. Give me a minute. I hope you can see my table clearly. Yes, this is a painting what we are going to do today and these are my all social media handles. So you can follow me on Instagram one stroke underscore Niru's world and I have a YouTube channel where I have more than 140 videos. These are all tutorial. You can learn from that video. And that is called Niru's World of Art. Okay. You just type on YouTube Niru's World of Art and you can follow me. I'll talk to you again regarding this one more time. Okay. So let's go what we need today for the workshop. First we need a white paper this is a4 paper simple a4 paper and we need colors these are camel acrylic colors is called camel artistic acrylic colors which I'm going to use today but doesn't matter if you don't have the same company you can use any kind of acrylic paints okay prefer acrylic paints we use for one stroke painting only acrylic paints okay so go for any acrylic paint the brand doesn't matter okay if you have the bottle paints you can use that one we need color uh, brushes so this is number eight brush we need one flat brush okay any number is fine six seven eight nine ten whichever you have this is number eight brush and one very thin brush we need it okay like this if you have zero number round brush or one number round brush that will also help so let's start and one more thing we need a plate if you see here this is the ceramic plate i am using but you can use steel plate okay which have the plain base you know the surface should be plain doesn't it shouldn't have any design or the grooves over there okay you can use malamine plate also then we need a water bowl okay a small bowl of water as acrylic paints are water soluble we are going to take the water when it becomes dry how to use water how to use our brushes everything i will explain you slowly so let's start from the beginning. See, I'm taking a water here and the dry brush. Okay, in the beginning, just dip your brush inside the water. Take out the extra water and just wipe it to the cloth. Okay, any cloth which you have, just wipe it over. It's that. Okay, rough cloth, keep one rough cloth with you okay so here this is number 10 brush i am using for you so that you can see my painting my strokes clearly i am taking acrylic paints acrylic paints dries very quickly so we are i'm going to take very little paint at a time if you take a lot of color it dries and half of it get waste so take little little at a time i'll show you my palette also this is deep magenta. I do deep magenta. One, one, two deep magenta. You can take any dark color. 
usually in one stroke painting we use one light color and one dark color here i use white and deep magenta you can use red blue orange whatever dark color you have okay maroon that is also base and the purple also dark purple you can use white if you don't have white color you can use light yellow light blue whichever you have okay now just see carefully how i load my brush okay the most important thing you might know the part of the brush but one more time i will tell you some people may not know it this is called handle and these are called bristles okay these are the flat this is flat brush so flat brush bristles are spread like this then if you see here there is a straight line this is called chisel edge okay it should be a thin line once you put it into the water bowl and wipe it it should be a thin line okay for one stroke we use only this kind of brush if the bristles become sprayed we are not going to use that for one stroke so make sure you you have a proper brush and i will show you that the brand also this is fine art the green color handle is a fine art brush these are very nice brushes and this is called dailar rounding if you don't get this fine art and camel brushes are available everywhere okay so little water i am going to take did you see that how much water i took it on the plate just a drop okay i'll pull this little in the middle so you can see it i hope you can see it and you can hear me also clearly okay so there if you see that the chisel edge have two corners one left and one right so dip one corner into deep magenta and the other corner in white okay like this you can see now keep it on the plate bring towards you 3 to 4 times away from you 3 to 4 times so when you go away you make sure your darker part is only on the dark side we need to cover 3/4 of bristles so right now it's not sufficient color so in the beginning after washing the brush we are going to take three time we load our brush three time that means we are going to take color three time in the brush and then blending this is called the blending of color three to four time towards you three to four times away from you if you think this is little difficult for you just move your plate and do like this okay in what happen when you use like this your white will be only on the white and dark will be only on the dark i am comfortable this way so i am going to continue mixing this way okay you do whatever is comfortable to you three four time towards you three four times away from you so what happen many times it becomes dry so when you think your brush is not moving nicely just touch the chisel edge to the drop of this water we are not going to put our brush or dip our brush into the water bowl we always are going to take a small amount of water here and then start our work okay now let's go to the stroke okay so i'm going to teach you a simple stroke called tear drop stroke okay make a v for that if you see here on the blending there is a white color dip magenta and in the middle there are multiple shades that's why we need the proper blending so that it can form multiple shades in it and we need those shades for the petal petal is always beautiful shaded right so we are going to blend it properly once you are happy with the blending and the shades come to the paper keep your chisel edge on the left line go little further with little pressure turn your brush and join the other line this is called 
tear drop stroke i will show you many time okay every time we are going to load our brush blend it and then go ahead on the paper so first make a v all right and on the left line keep your chisel edge go little further when i say go little further means if you are standing on the ground without moving your feet you just bend your body forward the same way keep your chisel edge go little forward with the pressure little pressure turn your brush exactly on the line you can see the bristles are exactly on the line okay so if you see that in one single stroke we can make multiple shades for the petal that's why it's called one stroke painting mrs donna duberry who is in usa she invented this art it's a beautiful art in one single stroke using multiple shades you can paint a floral design or the leaves leaf i am going to teach you ahead but let's go for the tear drop stroke now this is the most important stroke in one stroke painting and if you learn this you can paint different kind of flowers and the petals in different colors also okay so give a focus there is a v on the left line keep your brush only chisel edge chisel edge means just a thin line go little further with a little pressure turn your brush and join the other line okay all right you you know what if you have any query please send me you can dm me on one stroke underscore neeru's world this is my insta handle okay you follow me and send me the you your query any time you can send your query and uh, i will answer it uh, as soon as possible and please share your picture your work whatever you learn here in this session i would like to uh, keep that in my story and if there is any you know suggestion uh, you need it i will surely do that okay so now make a v this is tear drop stroke and we took dip magenta and white color i'm going to take some more because in the beginning i told you take very little color at a time it dries very quickly make sure you are not sitting down the fan or a windy if there is a wind outside then not near the window also because the color dries very quickly so while i was talking and taking more color my brush become dry so what i will do i'll just touch the chisel edge come back and blend it again okay now i can feel it is very soft and it's easily moving so go to the paper make a v keep your chisel edge on the left line go little further with a little pressure turn it and join the other line so if you see that here we are going to learn the rose bud so this is the first stroke okay what we learn is a first stroke now i am going to teach you the second stroke also okay before that i'll take couple of i'll make couple of petals first petal so that you can practice with me it's not hard just understand how i do it just follow the technique and you can do it you know what every time uh, i ask the student to start from this corner go straight with multiple lines and when you reach here you can see the difference of your last petal and the first petal you are master here this is much much better than the first so just remember that that much practice you need it even after the session also you need much practice and it's really a fun when you get that stroke and you can you can find out that once you get it how happy you will be first you make a v okay then keep the chisel edge on the left line go little further 
turn your brush exactly on the line here you see that i took the lighter shade up okay purposely i took it because i want to show you the second petal also so i'll do multiple here make a v join the other line this is called tear drop stroke oops you make sure you blend your colors on the plate at one place do not cover the whole plate with blending okay in that way we waste our color also so make a v keep your chisel edge on the left with the pressure turn to the right side okay now we are going to do the second petal which is very very easy if you see we learned the first petal now the second petal just see how we do it okay first make a straight line here and the one more over here inside the petal can you see this line shall i show you close see okay i hope you can see it So if there is any query please write me okay i share my insta handle to you one stroke underscore neeru's world follow me there and write your queries there so you make a two lines one's on the left corner one is in the middle of the petal keep your chisel edge over here go down with a beautiful curve and join the other line one more time make a straight line on the left line and the exactly in the middle okay or little far is fine keep your chisel edge bring your brush down with a beautiful curve and join the line so when you take a curve you can see you can see the depth of that bird that's why it's called 3d painting also if you make a beautiful curve you get a nice deep look in it see if you see here it looks like the you know the petals and the birds are coming out from the paper that's why it's called one stroke painting as well as 3d painting because it look like 3d if your all strokes are correct it look like 3d now one more last time make a line on the left side then one more line in the middle of the petal and make a beautiful curve and join the line okay now i'm going to teach you the third here if you see one we done first one done second done now the third one okay let's do it here i'm going to make little yellow so in up till now we took two colors we load our brush with the two colors now we are going to use third color also i'll show you how to use it okay dip it into the deep magenta white blend it once your blending part is done just dip your white portion into the yellow very little and blend it you can see little yellow shade is there on my blending place which i need it for my third petal it depends how dark you want if you want light take very little yellow if you want dark take more yellow now for the third petal make a line exactly in the middle exactly in the middle of this petal little down now from here bring your brush and join it to the first petal okay make the line exactly in the middle start from here give a beautiful curve and join it to the first petal 
So here we are going to take only one line. We don't need another line here because we had to go tapering to the first petal. Gently go move your brush and join the other line. Okay. I hope you got it. Here quickly I will show you the second and the third petal also. Okay. Make a line exactly in the middle or little far. Make another line. From here with a chisel edge go down and join the other line. Okay. Now when you go for the third just go exactly in the middle and join the first petal. Okay, you can see better on this side. So what we will do, we learn a first petal, second and the third also. Okay, so I am going to go with this on our black paper which is a final composition. We need to learn leaves also. Here, so what I will do, I will, we, we can just go with the same brush and the color on this black paper. Once it done, I will teach you the leaves and then we will finish it on this composition. So let's take the, okay, just give me a minute. I'll put another paper over there so you can see the black color. Yeah, you can see now. Here randomly we are going to do our first petal. Okay. It dries. So I took little water. I need more color here. And you can see the how beautiful it looks on the black paper. Okay. We learn on the white paper. Now the final composition we are going to do on the black paper. So, you, if you don't have this size, doesn't matter. Whatever size you have, if you have bigger size, you take bigger size and add more, but, uh, you know, birds there. You can add more birds, depends on your size of this paper, paper, okay. So, here, what I will do, I will make the first petal. Here, if you see that one is on left side, another is right side. So, if you want to make like this, turn your paper this way. Make a V as the same way we learn. And then, take more color, blend it together. And go to the, for the petal. Keep the chisel edge on the left line go a little further with the pressure turn your brush and join the other line so this is my first petal now i have to do other side so what i will do i will turn my paper make a v here and follow the same instruction okay what we did on the white paper so from the left line keep the chisel edge Go a little further with the pressure. Come and join the other line. Alright, I will do one more here. There is a place for me. So, I will do here one. You make a V. Once you are master in this stroke, you don't have to make the V. You can directly go and make the petal wherever you want. Okay. And the best thing of acrylic paints, if you are not happy with this petal, you can go over it again. Okay, acrylic paint allowed to do that. So whatever the second time you go over it is your final painting. So you can do that. Many times it happens. You know, you don't like the petal. Then come back, load your brush, blend it and then go again for that petal. Now, I am going to go for the second petal. So the same way how I taught you. Join these two lines. So make a line exactly on the left side and one is here. 
Okay, these lines also you don't have to do it once you know how to do the stroke. Join the line. Go very gently. Alright. Now here also. Same thing. Make a line. One here. And now. Go for the second pattern. Go down. How much down you can go is best. It gives the depth. It shows the depth of the flower. Here. I want to do a simple close bud. Did you see that? So how we will do it? Just keep your brush here and slide it. Very simply. Just keep the bud, give little pressure and slide it slowly. Okay? Now we will go for the third petal. I hope you all are doing with me. Of course, you do slowly. You can watch this multiple time and do it in your way. But when you get it, please, or when you finish your final composition, please share the picture. DM me on my Insta. I would like to see what you did. Okay. I'm pretty sure you will do the best. Now, for the third petal, make a line here. Did you see that I mix little yellow here? Okay, because I want yellow shade for the third petal. Make a line with the beautiful curve. Join the first petal very slowly. I hope you are enjoying it. Make a line exactly in the middle and join it the first petal okay the same thing here make a line and join it to the first petal did you see that our three birds are ready now we have to go for our leaves so i'm going to teach you the leaf stroke that is called the slider stroke for that i need yellow color little white and green. I am taking olive green. I will show you. It is olive green. Okay. You can take any green which you have. And I am going to use number 8 brush for that. It is a fine art number 8 brush. Okay. Same way you load your brush. Left corner in the green and right corner in yellow. And blend it together. 3-4 times towards you, 3-4 times away from you. Load your brush 3 times. Okay, so that your 3-4 top bristles get covered with color. While you blend it, make sure to give little pressure to your brush. So what happened? They blend together and make a beautiful shade. Okay? Now, for the slider stroke, which is shown here for the leaves okay now how you will do i'll turn this one because if i go like this my hand is going to come in the middle so i turn my paper you don't have to make a line you can make anywhere like this and then keep your chisel edge over here give little pressure this much pressure Turn your brush right and then go up slowly. Okay, I'll show you three, four times. Make a line. Keep your chisel edge, give little pressure. With the pressure, turn your brush towards the right and then go up. Okay, again. Make a line. Keep your chisel edge, give little pressure, turn your brush towards the right and then go up. So when you turn right, I will show you, when you turn right, your bristles become straight and that moment you go up. When you go up, sometimes this thin line doesn't come. You practice, just keep the brush here, pull it, pull it, pull it. So when you pull 
ahead your front bristles are coming first you understand what i say keep your brush here when you pull it that time this upper bristles are coming first and then the lower bristles okay that way only you will get the thinner line i'll show you one more time make a line give little pressure turn your brush like a compass and then go up it is exactly like a compass your down bristles are there only we i am not moving my bra down bristles see here one more time pressure down bristles are here when they are in the straight line i go up okay so let's go do this thing on our black paper for the final composition here there is no any rule to where to add your leaves you can add wherever you want okay so let's do it i am using the same olive green you can use bright green somehow i am not using bright green right now but i'll use olive green with little white okay so make the petal same way you make a line give little pressure turn it towards the right and then go up got it wherever you want you can put your slider stroke the leaf stroke so if you want down here what you will do turn your paper upside down make use the same technique make a line keep your brush give little pressure turn towards right and then go up now you can see how your leaf is is turning down okay you can change the position of the paper wherever you want so if you don't stick your paper it's good you can turn it all right now let's go for one or two more leaves okay make a line turn then go up so once you are okay with this stroke you don't have to make a line also you can directly go but in the beginning please do that so you know where to start so keep the chisel keep the chisel edge the there right and then go up all right i make four leaves, you know leaves here now i am done for this what i will do i'll take my thinner brush and i'm going to use that to join this everything together if you see that there are thinner lines which i use so that what happen this everything get connected to each other so first in the beginning i'm going to use this olive green and you just see what how i extend it just keep the brush over here and go up keep the brush with the pressure little bit go up okay it's very easy keep your brush thin brush down here and pull it up so these are the i'm going to complete my bird so what are the lines are there we will do it now i'm going to add little white because we have a black background if i use the olive green for the lines it's not showing up because it's dark background is dark if it is white background you can use olive green for the thinner lines but here no we are going to mix little white so from here pull a line around the bud here too pull a line and give a beautiful curve if you see that this all enhance your bird's beauty and this is another bird which is close okay very gently so use the thinner brush always use the thinner brush for the thinner lines we will quickly finish this see this these have a longer bristles what happen when you use the longer bristles it is very useful to pull the longer la line 
If you use zero or one, I know it's very difficult to have all brushes with you. But if you have the short brush, you can do multiple times. Like bring little bit and again bring. You can do that one. But this is called the script liner. Okay, it has a longer thin bristles which can pull a longer line which you want. Okay, that's the advantage of script liner. This is a script liner of company called Bristro. You can get script liner in many companies. You can just google it and you can order on Amazon. Here, when you pull the stem, make sure each stem have beautiful curve. Okay, never bring them as a straight line or join them in one single line. Make them cross each other. That gives the real look of this flower. I hope you understand what I say. Always bring a line with a beautiful curve. Okay, now join these leaves to it. We will join all the leaves. You can just pull from out to in because inside the leaves we need a thinner line. Okay, the thinner line should come at the end. Then this one. Then this one. This is looking down so we need to bring it like this. Okay, here if you see we are almost done. Now I will pull couple of lines which you can just watch where I am doing it. From the stem here, here, then I will show you how to make few curves also. Huh? One minute, I mix it. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. So from here, I want to show you how the spring we paint. Okay, it's like a wine. Go with this, make two C together and join them like this. It, it fill up the gap, whatever you have extra on the paper. You can do here also. First make two C crossing each other. Okay. And then join this. Got it? Now we are done for our today's workshop. Okay, you please send me your queries, what you have. So today we learn strokes, many, many important strokes we learn. What are there in one stroke? One was teardrop stroke and other important is slider stroke. Okay, so teardrop which we learn is this one. With the teardrop we make a rosebud and we learn two Another strokes which can complete the rosebud and the another one is for the leaf. So if you know these two important, uh, you know, these strokes, you can make multiple flowers. Even while using this slider stroke, you can make a flower out of it using different colors. So you, what you do, you join me to my Insta. I will show you again my Insta handle. There are many, many uh, paintings are available you can get the ideas what you can do with this using this stroke so my insta handle is one stroke underscore Nero's world and please follow me on my youtube it's called Nero's world of art okay you can type it all small letters Nero's world of art all right and you can follow me and there ha i have more than 140 videos available now which are tutorials many of it are very beautiful tutorials you can you know copy it you can learn from it like it share it and follow me all right thank you so much for joining today's session and I really, really enjoy teaching you. I want all of you to do this work and share the picture with me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And would like to see you on my Insta and my YouTube. Bye-bye. Take care.